Hi, we're League of States. I'm Joel. And I'm Sean. We're a husband and wife team. We are Southern California Hall of Fame agents. Thanks for watching. Hi, I'm Sean with League of States. And today I wanted to go over a little bit about the, uh, the current market, uh, housing market. <clears throat> We've never seen a market like this in all of history. Right now, demand is near the highest it's ever been. But inventory is extremely low. Inventory over the last month has been 2,500 homes in all of Orange County. And 70% of those homes go over asking price because there's so much demand for housing and not enough houses to go around. Now you may wonder, what's, what's causing that? Well, it's a number of factors. Um, a lot of it has to do with the COVID lockdowns and the associated uh, changes in laws and rules and uh, uh, the, just the condition of the markets. So right now we have extremely low interest rates at 2.83 uh, at the moment. Um, so that makes it a really appealing to borrow money to buy a house. The other is inflation. We're at uh, more than 5% inflation right now. Um, the government, as you know, probably know, uh, is printing a lot of money, which causes inflation. And the economy is starting to get back on its feet after COVID. Um, so that is uh, scaring people. Um, you know, you don't want to keep your money in a bank account that's point, paying 0.01% interest because you're losing money every day because that money becomes worth less and less. But if you invest in things like real estate, the real estate automatically uh, increases with uh, with the economy. So one reason people are borrowing money to buy houses is okay. So you buy a house at 2.83 percent interest, right? The inflation rate is at five percent currently. So by borrowing that money, you're making money. <laughs> um, and especially when you invest in a house and the price of the house is going up, it's it's a no-brainer. The hard part is getting a house. You have to compete with 10, 12 other uh, bidders on the house. So you're going to pay more than asking. And even with that, people are willing to pay more than asking because they know that in the long term, or even the fairly short term, they're going to make money. Um, we, we've seen houses that have gone up from 1.7 million to 2.2 and 2.3 million in less than uh, a year. So uh, people are making money hands over fist if you have property. Um, but the hard part is actually getting the property. And that's where we can help. Um, Joan is an expert negotiator. She, f she finds out what the sellers, um, what they want. Um, she knows the market. She knows how much the prices are, are, are the properties are worth right now, not six months ago, which is useless data. She knows right now. She goes to every open house and every house in the neighborhood, checks out um, what their current prices are, what they sold last, what people are asking. Um, so she knows the, the market really well and uh, she can guide you to the correct price. We've seen some agents just go in and say, okay, whatever the price is, just offer 100,000 more, so you get it. And because people have lost the bids on several houses already, they're desperate and they'll do whatever to get a house. So they're like, okay, put 100,000 over. Well, we think it's kind of reckless. You don't need to do that. You need to figure out what the um, other buyers are offering and what the seller will take. You know, maybe it's 30,000 over or 20,000 over, but just going immediately to 100,000, that's, seems unwise. <laughs> uh, though you may get the, the property, but you've just lost an extra 60 or 70,000 that you could have kept in your pocket. So uh, on buying, Joan is really excellent. And uh, if you listen to her advice, you have a good chance of getting the house. So, and on the selling side, inventory, like I said, is extremely low. 2,500 houses in the, in the entire uh, county. Um, so houses don't last long. Houses last two days, three days. I think the average they say is about 30. But that's not what we're seeing. We see we sold you know, five houses in June, um, in July, and those houses sold in one to two days, you know, usually over the weekend, and multiple bidders, eight to twelve bidders, um, and then you can use the you know the uh, if you're selling your house, we can help with you know negotiating with the, all the different trying the buyers, um, saying oh this buyer is offering this much, you, you want to go up, you know, so you you try and start bidding more. Um, to get you as much value out of your house as you can. So, um, again, Joan is an excellent negotiator. She'll um, get you the maximum that you can out of your house. So now, you ask, well, why is the inventory so low? Okay, prices are outrageous right now. You think there would be a lot of free inventory, but there's a number of factors here. Um, one is if people want to move locally, they sell their house, they know they can't buy another one because it's so difficult to buy a house. So that's keeping people from selling right now, unless they're moving out of state. We're seeing a lot of that, people moving to the East Coast, Tennessee, uh, Texas, places like that. Um, in that case, they'll sell here and there's a lot more inventory in those places, although prices are going up there as well. 
Um, the other factor is that uh, with the uh, rental lockdowns, you know, you can't kick a tenant out. So we have a lot of uh, people want to sell their house, but they're unable to sell their house because they can't remove the tenants from their house. Um, even if they're not paying, they can't remove them. So that's causing a, a big headache. So when the uh, when the moratorium on uh, evictions does come to an end, we should see more inventory show up on the market. Um, but who knows when that's going to be. They say it's the end of September, but they keep moving that, that forward. So until that happens, there's still a shortage of not only um, houses for sale, but also rentals. We're, we're seeing bidding on rentals. I've, <laughs> I've never seen this. So say a house is going for 2500 a month. You know, people come in and say, well, I'll bid you 2600 a month. And this next person, I'll pay you 2700 a month. And I'll put down six months ahead of time. You know, so it's just it's just crazy you know, because there's no rental inventory as well as no inventory for sale. So it's it's a really really tight market. But with uh, with I said with like inflation, it may be worth investing um, if you can afford to do so. Uh, it, it's it's a good market in that way. And we don't see that that the houses prices are going to go down anytime soon. I think these prices are going to continue for the next year um, unless something radically changes. So if the Fed raises interest rates, which I don't see them doing that. Um, if they raised interest rates, that would cool things off a bit. That might actually level out the uh, the housing prices. But I don't see any reason for them to go down. Uh, you know, in 2008, people lost their houses because of the, the banking crisis. Um, but that's not going to happen this time because the prices have gone up so much. Now everybody has equity in their house. So even if they're in financial trouble, they can always just put their house in the market in two or three days. It's sold and they've got their equity out. Um, so I don't see the market crashing uh, from that. All right. So I think if you invest now, buying a house, um, if, you're, if you're able to get one, uh, it's a fairly safe investment, and it's certainly safe in the long term. Housing always goes up in the long term. Um, you know, we've had crashes here and there, but over the long, long term, just like the stock market, it always goes up. So, and it's a tangible physical asset that is not um, going to be affected by inflation. You know, your prices are going to go up with inflation. So it is a, as far as investments go, it's a very safe investment. So I still recommend buying houses even in this condition, so especially if it's your first house and you need a house. I, I still really recommend that. If you're buying for investment purposes, um, you'd have to think about that because, uh, again, you're going to be spending more than you would have before. But if the rates continue to rise, then you'll make a profit. So, um, of course, we never know what the future is going to be. So anytime you invest, it's a risk. But at least if it's your first house, if you own the house and live in it, you're benefiting already. So, um, you know, even if you don't make it much profit on the house itself, you living there not paying rent um, and having your own house is, is completely worth it. So like I said, there's a, right now there's inventory of about 2,528 houses uh, on the market, something like that. Um, and the demand, it, like, I said earlier, the demand is really high. It's not as high as it has been, which early in the in last year, earlier this year and, and late last year, that was the highest demand. So demand has, has gone down just a, a little bit. And part of that is because there's not enough supply. So, you know, people look around, there's, there's nothing to buy. So you don't see the demand show up because those people aren't able to buy a house. Um, so uh, the demand is... The demand is really there, but it's just not showing up in the data. So I think the demand is, is the highest it's ever been um, by what I see. When you see eight to 12 people bidding on the property and, and bidding over the price, uh, that shows you the demand is really high, okay? And those are the people that in two days are bidding on the house. When we have an open house, we have hundreds of people show up. Hundreds of families will show up at an open house over the Saturday and Sunday. And the interest in any house is just insane. Uh, we've never seen numbers like this before. Okay, and that's it for this week's update. Um, if you need help buying or selling a house, uh, contact me or Joan. We'll do our best to uh, get you the highest price you can for selling your house. Or if you're trying to buy, we'll get you in as uh, low as you can. Um, like I said, Joan's an expert negotiator, so give us a call. Ah, thank you for watching. If you have any questions, you can call us or call Joan at 949-298-0727. That's right. Thank you for watching.